Hello, good afternoon students. Our topic this afternoon is about variation and mayroon tayong dalawang objectives. Una, illustrate situations that involve direct variation and inverse variation. Pangalawa, we are going to translate statements into mathematical equations. Simulan natin with these examples. Okay, number one. The number of hours to finish a job to the number of men working. So, di ba, kapag maraming uh, nagtatrabaho, agad na natatapos ang ating trabaho. Kapag kakonti naman na yung magtatrabaho, syempre mahaba din ang oras ng pagtatrabaho. So, this one is an example of inverse variation. Okay? So, this is an inverse variation. Okay? So, next, the age of a used car to its resale value. So, ang sinasabi dito, ang kinocompare natin dito ay yung uh, edad or yung tagal ng uh, sasakyan na nasa iyo bago mo ito ibenta. So, syempre, alam natin na kapag luma na yung sasakyan sa atin, mababang value na lang ang pwede, uh, mababang na lang natin itong maibibenta. And kapag fresh pa yung sasakyan sa atin, syempre, mataas yung value na may pwede nating uh, ibigay para maibenta natin. Okay? So, this one is another example of inverse variation. Okay? So, ngayon, with these examples, pag sinabi natin inverse variation, when one quantity increases, the other one decreases. Gaya ng example natin ng una, kapag marami ang nagtatrabaho, yung span ng uh, pagtatrabaho ay maiksi. So, dumami, umiksi. Pero kapag kumunti yung trabaho na magtatrabaho, hahaba naman yung uh, time nila ng uh, paggawa. Okay? So, doon naman sa example nat number 2 natin, habang tumatagal, nagkakaedad yung uh, sasakyan, bumababa naman yung value niya. Habang ito ay bago pa or fresh pa sa atin, syempre mataas, uh, mataas din yung value niya na pag ito binenta na natin. So, this is an inverse variation or this are inverse variation. Another, um, the area of the wall to the amount of paint used to cover it. So, this one is an example of direct variation. Okay? So, this is a direct variation. So, bakit sa tinawag na direct variation? Kasi, um, syempre, kapag malawak or yung area natin malaki, yung area ng wall ay malaki, so, syempre, malaki din or madami din yung kakailangan ni nating uh, pintura. Pero kapag maliit lang yung wall na pipinturan natin, so syempre yung magagasas nating pintura ay kokonti lang din. So, this is an example of direct variation. Another, the time a teacher spends checking papers to the number of students. Kapag si teacher maraming estudyante, so mahaba din yung time niya ng pagchecheck. Pero kung konti lang yung estudyante niya, syempre maiksi lang din din ang time niya ng pagchecheck ng mga papers. So, this is one is also a direct variation. So, with these examples, pag sinabi natin direct variation, when one quantity increases, the other one increases as well. When one quantity decreases, the other one also decreases. So, these are the two types of variations. The inverse variation and direct variation. Okay, next, how about translating uh, matima, uh, translating statements into mathematical equations? Paano natin gagawin yan? Let's have this one. There is a direct variation whenever a situation produces. I'm sorry. This one is pair. Okay, palitan lang natin. This is a pair of numbers. Pair. Okay. Again, there is a uh, direct variation whenever a situation produces a pair of numbers in which their ratio is constant. So, the statement y varies directly as x, y is directly proportional to x, and y is proportional to x may be translated to mathematically or may be translated to mathematically as y equals to kx. Okay? So, this one. Pwede natin siya translate into this expression. Okay? 
So y varies directly as x, y is directly proportional to x, y is proportional to x, lahat ng yan, pare-parehas lang, at pwede natin i-translate into mathematical equation as y equals to kx. Where in your k is the constant of your variation. Okay? So, gaya nga nang sabi natin, a direct variation says, or its definition is, for two quantities, x and y, an increase in x causes an increase in y as well. Similarly, a decrease in x causes a decrease in, in y. Okay. So now, how about translating this following statements? The fare f of a passenger varies directly. I'm sorry. Uh, this one should be varies. Palitan natin. This is varies directly. Varies. So, varies directly as, again, the fare F of a passenger varies directly as the distance D of his destination. Paano natin to ito translate into mathematical equation? Simply lang, this will be F equals to K D. Where in your K is your constant of your variation. And for number two naman, the cost C okay, of fish varies directly as its weight W in kilograms. So, K, W. Ganun lang kasimple. So, you just have to attach K as your constant of your variation. Again, for number one, the fair F of a passenger varies directly as the distance D of its destination. So, that will be F equals to KD. For number two naman, the cost C of fish varies directly as its weight in W in kilograms. C equals to KW. Again, your K stands for your constant, constant of your variation. And that's it.